Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, Microsoft re-released their security update KB5012170, which as I mentioned in the previous video, which I will leave a link to in the description, it fixed a secure boot DBX vulnerability. Now, what I thought I would do in this video is just to answer a couple of questions and just to keep you up to date and in the loop, so to speak, because there has been a little bit of confusion and there have been one or two comments um, on the channel. So I thought I would just answer questions in case you had a couple of question marks that were raised regarding KB5012170. Now, just to do a quick recap, as I mentioned previously, the update was originally released on the 9th of August. And what the update addressed and fixed was um, there was a security feature bypass vulnerability that existed in Secure Boot. So that's what the update addressed. And this is what it actually did. And the security update addresses the vulnerability by adding the signatures of the known vulnerable UEFI modules to the DBX. So that's a brief summary of what the update is all about. Now, originally it rolled out for these versions of Windows. And here we can see Windows 10 version 21H2 and Windows 11 version 21H2. Now, on the 9th of August, when Microsoft did roll out the update, which was a very important security update, Windows 10 and Windows 11 version 22H2 were not released yet. So what Microsoft is doing now is they are re-releasing the update, KB5012170, for Windows 11 version 22H2 and Windows 10 version 22H2, because if we scroll down here, I installed the update originally on the 10th of August, and that was when I was running Windows 11 21H2 and also Windows 10 21H2, because as mentioned, those operating systems were not released yet. So obviously Microsoft is rolling out the update again to patch the vulnerability for Windows 11 22H2 and Windows 10 22H2. Now, at this stage, um, there are reports that it's mainly rolling out for Windows 11 22H2, but there are also reports um, on this channel, and also I've done a bit of research online, that there are users who are getting it for Windows 10 22H2. Now, I haven't received it yet on my Windows 10 22H2 device, but that doesn't mean I won't get it. It could be region-specific, and also um, I could get it in the next day or next week. So if you haven't seen the update yet on Windows 10 22H2, then just be patient because... Um, Microsoft may still roll it out to you, but it's mainly rolling out, as mentioned, to Windows 11 22H2 at this stage, but seems to be available for both, as, as mentioned. Both those um, feature updates had not rolled out yet when Microsoft originally released the update on the 9th of August. Now, just on that note, the update originally, as I did post, I actually posted about three or four videos when the update rolled out originally, that KB5012170 caused numerous issues. It caused boot problems, which was an issue it, it, that had to be addressed by Microsoft. The main issue it did, it did um, cause when it did roll out originally were bit locker recovery issues where, uh, where certain users couldn't boot into their operating systems. That was a big one. And then um, it was failing to install with error 0x800F0922, which was another big um, issue regarding the update. Now, the update at this stage on my device hasn't caused any issues that I can see. Now, if the update is causing issues, um, especially if you, if you have originally installed the update, as I've mentioned, back in August, KB5012170. So if it is causing issues, then what you need to do is just head um, on your update history page. This applies to both Windows 10 and 11 and just uninstall the update. Here we go. Secure update for Microsoft Windows 5012170. Click on uninstall, follow the prompts, and then restart your device. Because if the negatives are outweighing the positives and the, the update is causing issues, then just uninstall the update. But I must be honest, I personally haven't heard of any major issues that the update is causing yet. I've seen one comment on the channel that the update is call, causing the error 0x800F0922. So if that is the case, then just uninstall the update. It's that simple. But the update is addressing a major security vulnerability, as mentioned, um, in the Secure Boot DBX. So only install the update if you are having any issues with your operating system, be that Windows 11 or Windows 10. And um, if you aren't having any issues, then just ignore the update and leave it alone. And that's KB5012170. So I hope that clears up a little bit of confusion. I know this is a bit of a long one, but just want to answer a couple of questions in case you were interested. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.